Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and I want to do a follow up on the video that I did up here where I talk about how you can use the ATEM for mobile tethering. I had a couple of questions that people asked, how are you able to connect to your phone and do tethering um, if the ATEM is using the USB? So I want to walk you through that and it's really a lot easier than you may think. All right. So the very first thing, let me show you what I have prepped right now. I don't know if you can see it right there, but that is my internet modem right there where I have it completely disconnected. And actually, let me actually turn it off so you can see what is going on with that. All right, so my internet is completely off, but my network is still in place. So all of the devices are still getting the IP address. I just can't physically go out on the internet. And let me show you that. So if I cut over here to my computer here, so you can see. So right now, so if I tried to go to something right now, Facebook, I have no IP address. Go to different places, nothing. So if I open up my networking stuff here, so you can see. So I have two connections on my computer um, that are connected. But if we go here to connection number five and then connection number eight, You see right here that both of them have, I don't know why this one is saying it has internet access, but let's just test it. Let's disable this one. And there you go. See, no internet access. So um, I don't know why that one was saying that it had internet access when both of them are offline. But anyway, let's go ahead and enable this one again. And again, I just want to prep this so that you're not, doesn't look like I'm trying to fake out anything so it sees both has no internet connection we're going to open both of them up again and you see no internet access now i'm going to go over here again to my unify network that's if i can log into it um, see if i can go directly to it And again, I'm doing all of this just to prove that I'm not on the internet. So we're going to go to our network right now. And all right, we have no connection here. If we do a test, we should not get anything because, yeah, your internet service provider too, it can't get anything because we're not getting anything. All right. All right. And that doesn't show. I was thinking it was going to show an alert or something saying that I was offline. But anyway, we have no internet connection. I've shut down my regular Comcast internet coming in. So what we're going to do is I can still connect to my ATEM because I'm on a closed network. Now, what you could do is you could set up a direct IP address for your ATEM and then have you on your computer and then y'all can just talk to each other. So, you know, set 192.168.0.10 on your ATEM and then 192.168.0.11 or 12 or something, anything other than 10 on your computer and they can talk to each other over the network. That was the whole point. All right, so now I only have my ATEM in the extreme to do this, but it still works. All right, so as you can see right now, I'm connected over network and USB. I'm going to unplug my other USB cable and you can see it went away, but I still have a connection over my closed network that I have here. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the ATEM software. And we are connected only over the closed network. All right, you can still see it here. If we went to set up again, again, it's only the network. Now, actually, I don't know why I closed that. We need to go back in here. So we're going to go to the settings in this. 
And what we're going to do is set our connection priority to mobile. That means that it's going to go to it for internet connection over anything else. Right. And that's the reason I need to prove that for, um, I need to set that for a reason so that this will work. Right. Cause if you don't, it's going to keep trying to look out on that network connection that's closed just so you can talk to your ATEM. Right. So now I'm going to grab my phone here. I'm going to connect it to USB on my, um, to my ATEM. This is the cable I normally use to record. All right. And now I am going to turn on tethering mode. So here, here it is, right? I don't know if y'all can see that. So right here, and I forgot my lens doesn't have all those focus. So I'm gonna turn on USB tethering, which is on now. If we cut back over to our onto the ATEM software, you will see now that we now have a phone icon right here, right? So I am going to my Vimeo um, account right now. So that's why this key is blurred. So now I'm gonna start streaming and the phone is red because that's what we're using for our internet, right? And we're going straight out and obviously I can't check it right now because my <laughs> internet is off, but I will put a link down below so you can see. So I am connected and streaming, but I can still control the ATEM at the same time. So hopefully that helps for anybody who wanted to um, see how you do this. Again, this is for anything with the ATEM Mini Pro and higher because the ATEM Mini, the base, can't stream itself. So we're connecting directly to the ATEM in a closed network um, that has no internet. And again, I've done this with the mini travel router when I go to games and things like that. But the ATEM is connected directly to our phone over the one USB port that's available on the ATEM Mini Pro. But even I'm using the ATEM Mini Extreme, I have nothing connected to my ATEM except for the phone. And that was, again, proof here. If we go back to our system here, just to verify that we still have no um, USB connection to the computer at all. The only way this is being connected is over the phone, right? I mean, not the phone. It's connected over the closed network that has no internet access. So hopefully that helps. Um, again, I'm, I will provide a link to me actually doing this. So hopefully that helps for people who are asking, how do you connect and still control the ATEM if the USB is being used for mobile streaming? So that's about it. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks. This is AJ. We'll see you on the next video later. <music>